how to create a canva presentation hi guys welcome back today i'm going to be showing you how you can create your presentations with canva.com for free so let's get started now canva is an amazing platform that allows you to create different digital art you can create your instagram post edit your videos or create presentations logos resume documents as well and canva is completely free of course if you are using the free version i will be using the free version of canva today to create this amazing presentation you can actually go for canva pro as well if you want to and you can actually will be able to avail a lot more features with canva pro but the free version also allows you to create this amazing art so you can create your different presentation for your school work or any project that you are working on so how to do that let's start with the process all you have to do is just come to canva.com and sign up or a free version or a paid plan once you have logged in into your canva you will land on this website right here so you will see the option of presentation right here on canva this is one of the very first options that you get so what you have to do is just simply click on create presentation and when you do that canva will take you to your workspace to your canvas where you can create different presentations so this is my canvas to create my presentation uh, this is a blank canvas and i will be able to create my presentation here so let me give you a quick tour around the different you know tools that we are getting in our canvas or in our workspace so what happens is this is a template option where i will be able to find all of these different hundreds of thousands of templates that canva has created for us and most of them are free as well so what happens is that you can choose from a template and then you can can work on that of course you can add it the text you can add it different pictures you can add your elements but you will have this amazing you know template to work on and you can actually add your own pages as well while working in a template and i will actually show you that how to use a template and i will use a template and add uh, different you know pages as well so this is how you can actually you know get started with a template then we have an option of elements in elements we get all of these different elements for example you get the lines and shapes graphics you get photos videos and um, sounds as well that you can add to your uh, presentation you can add charts frames and grids too so you select from all of these different options the images or graphics to you know add to your presentation then we have the upload option from where we can upload anything from our computer and then text of course very important part while creating different different presentations you can add the text from here add a heading add a subheading or you can add a body text again you also get different templates to choose from if you want to go for already created um a word or already created text you can choose from here but in presentations we work with uh headings and subheadings and body text so from here we will be adding our text let's go to our canvas here and i will simply click on uh, right here on my canvas and i will be able to change the background color uh, let's go with a template first and let me show you how you can add it your template and then I, I will add a page as well so what happens is let me choose any template from here if i go to see all i will be able to check out all of the different templates for example uh, this one has 14 pages and it is free so let's go with this one i will simply click on this template and now i can add pages from this template now the good thing is you can add one page from each presentation as well each template as well if you want to for example when you add a page let's just say that i want to go with this page right so the next page is added from here you simply click on the plus icon and it's a new page now in the new page i can actually go back and select another template and add that page from there it's like super easy you simply go and i can actually add my second page maybe from this presentation like it doesn't matter so this is pretty cool feature right and you can create your own page as well for example i can add a new page and this page is going to be my page that i will create from the scratch i will create everything right here so let's add it the template page first so this is going to be my heading let's just say so what happens is you simply click on any of the element and it is selected then you can edit it out for example this one so i will delete this because i do not want that you simply click on that and delete key right here and it is deleted i can move this element as i want to simply click on that and you will be able to move it let's add the 
you know spark right here just make it a little bigger and then there you go so after that this guy should also come a little closer okay so these are the different elements that i can work for let's add text simply go to text add a heading so i will simply add a heading from here for example okay so let's just say this is my heading how to create presentations on canva now i can edit the text as i want to so the first thing i will do is i want to actually decrease the spacing between these two so you will get the option of spacing right here uh, the alignment is given here it is centered align then if you want to list it you can do from here if you want to make it italic or bold you will get the option here the text color is changed from here the size will be changed from here and the fonts are given here you can actually choose from these different fonts whatever font you want to go for i am going with this font because it looks pretty good with the headings so let's just change the spacing for this one and for the line spacing i will simply decrease it to maybe 99 okay now this looks pretty good now i want to make it a bit smaller so i will simply click on that and okay let's move it in the center now i can actually go ahead and move this a little here there it is so let's increase the size for my text now to increase the size of your text you can actually click on this plus icon and it will increase the size or you can just you know select these dots and you can increase the size from here with your mouse so i think this looks pretty good and i will just keep it in the center okay now these elements will be decreased a bit lower there you go perfect now i will move these elements there you go uh, so you can see right here now this page actually looks pretty good now if i want to you know change the background color i can actually change it to any color i want to so i want to make it a bit you know colorful not the green one okay this one look pretty good okay so this looks good so i will keep it this way so this is going to be my first page and this is the page i you know customized from a template now you can see the page number right here one two three and you can add as many pages as you want to you can add the comment to any of the elements or page right here from add comment page so this page if you do not want any page you simply click on these three dots and you can actually duplicate it if you want to you can add another new page or you can delete the page and it will be deleted so this is going to be my second page it is completely blank it is going to be my own page that is not from a template so how to create something from the scratch of course uh, you change the background color so i went with a skin color so the background color is going to be same as the first one so they look you know uh, aligned and they look you know good uh, and organized so this is going to be my background color now i want to add different elements so i will simply go to elements and I can add a photo if I want to. So I will click on photos and you will be able to find all of these amazing uh, pictures from here. Uh, these are completely free too. Some are not, but most of them are. The ones I am seeing right here are completely free. So I can add as many pictures as I want to. So let's add an image. Let's go with this one. So now this image will be loaded right here and this person should be here now if i want to change the size i'll make it big or small as i want to or i can crop the image as i like so i will just keep it this size okay and i will actually make it a big there you go so this image looks pretty good now if i wanted to add different graphics i can go to graphics and i can add as many graphics as i want to i can add gradients i can add stickers and i can add different you know designs as well so for now i am going to go for simple graphic if i want to add for example i can add any of these uh, the ones that actually match my first page as well so i think these are the graphics these are magic recommendation now this is pretty good on canva that you get magic recommendations like um the ones you should go for and these actually match the things that you have already used so you get a pretty good idea to you know uh, what you should use so we can go with this person maybe and she can just you know say right here you will see 
that she will be added right here now i can actually change her as i like i can actually change the color of her clothes i will click on yellow and the yellow color in this graphic will be changed for example i can change the yellow to blue or maybe to orange and this is what it will look like so for now i think the image looks good so i will delete the graphic again what you do is you simply right click and click on delete it will be deleted so i can add the text from here for example let's go for a heading or maybe we should have gone with a subheading but it totally depends on you how to use canva let's just say this is my second uh slide for my presentation so i will simply click it right here and i can add right here and i will change the line spacing there it is so this can be my heading if i want to add a subheading it will be added right here so you can see right here that I have added this subtext. Now I can actually decrease the size for this text and I can add it right here just below this. So this is what it will look like. Now this could be my second slide and I can now create as many slides as I want to. You add the title of your presentation right here for example when you actually most of the time when you create your new presentation and you add the title right here on the first slide your title is automatically updated right above but if it's not you simply click right here and you can add it your title from here and this will be the title for your presentation so once you are done for example you can add as many pages as you want to and you can add as many slides as you want to so once you have created your presentation you can review it from here you can select any page and you can add as many pages as you want to you can add elements whatever you want to and create this amazing presentation of your own once it's done you simply click on this icon of download and you can download it in the video form if you want to it is going to be mp4 video or you can go for the image presentation or image slides and you can just go for png so i am going to go for png and you can actually go for a pdf file as well for presentation it is suggested to go for pdf so you can go for pdf standard i am going with pdf standard so you can just simply click on download and your presentation will be downloaded within second so yeah guys this is how you can create your presentations with canva.com i hope that i was a big hug to you and now you will be able to create your amazing business school or work presentations with canva.com for free make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel